Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. I've had several questions recently about working with data in spreadsheets. Today, we're going to cover drop-down boxes and sorting. It's worth noting upfront that I'm using Google Sheets for this, but everything that I'm doing here will work basically exactly the same in Excel. Kylie wanted to enter data into a membership sheet, but in some of the fields, she wanted to be able to pick from a list of items, like clothing sizes. She also wanted to be able to sort the finished product by priority so that she can get the high priority ones out first. This is a mock-up of Kylie's spreadsheet with some dummy data in it. Here we are in Kylie's spreadsheet. So we've got a couple of different columns here that we want sizing for. So what I'm going to do is highlight the polo column and then go to data, data validation. So our cell range is F1 to F1000. Well, we don't actually want F1, so we want to change that to F2, and 1000 will take it all the way to the bottom. Now, our criteria is a list from a range. Now, rather than enter it, I'm just going to select it, and it's in the menus separate tab, and here are the different sizes. I'm going to add none all the way through to XXL which is the menus sheet B2 to B9, okay? I wanted to show it as a drop-down list in the cell, show a warning if it's invalid data, show some text help. Select size or none. Save. And then back on my sheet, I now have a drop-down box where I can choose none, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, pick all of the different sizes. And then I can actually do exactly that same thing for the jacket. Select the column, data, data validation, change it to G2, and I can actually select that same range again because it's giving me the exact options that I need. Okay. So, size of none. Okay. And there we go. I I can select an extra small polo and a small jacket. Cap, I think it, the, probably the easiest thing is just a yes or no. So we'll go into the menus, cap, okay, I'll put none to be consistent and yes. Then we can go back, do the same thing, data, data validation, H2, select from the menus sheet, none and yes, okay. I'm not even going to get to show the text and save. And there we have a spreadsheet where we've got all of the details and we can either pick none, go over for Ava wants a medium polo with a medium jacket and yes for a cap. Now priority is another one. Now we can either have high, medium and low might work. The problem with high, medium and low is when you want to go back and sort it you don't actually, you can't sort by high, medium, and low easily. One of the things that might be the easiest to do is we'll create priority. Did I spell that right? Yes, I did. One dash high, 
two medium and three low. It gives a word that represents what we mean, but also gives a number that we can sort by easily. Oh, and the reason with sorting by high, medium, and low is you can't sort it alphabetically because they're in the wrong order, no matter which way you do it. Now we pick our priority column, data, data validation, from E2, select the range from the sheet, high, medium, and low, okay. Don't need any help for that. Done. And there's our spreadsheet. We can either we can say that's high priority, medium priority, and go in and fill our spreadsheet. Now I'm just going to pop a few extra ones in here just to fill the data out. It's worth noting you still can copy and paste. Uh, if I copy that and paste it down, everybody will get a medium. Everybody gets a cat. But now, one of the important things we can do is we want to, if we want just the high priorities at the top, we can go to the little arrow on this column, click that, sort sheet A to Z, and that will sort highs, mediums, and then lows, and obviously all of the blanks at the bottom. As I said, all of this will work just the same in Excel, although the sorting is just a little bit different because you have to use the sort menu rather than just having it handy on the top bar like Google Sheets does. Question of the day, are you comfortable using spreadsheets? Is there things you'd like to learn how to do? Let me know in the comments down below, and if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.